Hello everybody, Michelle here. In this video, we are going to be getting into some introductory exercises to get in touch with your pelvic floor. So whenever we're doing pelvic floor exercises, it's just essentially doing a Kegel, which is activating the same muscles in your pelvic floor that you use to stop the flow of urine. So I want you to kind of get yourself in a comfortable position, preferably in a chair where the flat of your feet could be touching the earth. And I want you guys to do this because I also want this to be considered as a grounding technique so you can get in touch with your body and begin to learn how to play energy, play with energy when it comes to activating your muscles and bringing them in sync with your breath. So once we get there, get ourselves in a comfortable position, I want you to think about squeezing your pelvic floor, but I also want you to be really mindful that the other muscles in your body are completely relaxed. So as you squeeze your pelvic floor, the abdomen is soft, the glutes are soft, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the jaw, the chest is just relaxed. So the only activation, the only engagement that you're going to be feeling is coming in through the muscles in your vaginal canal. And then the only thing that you're gonna be feeling releasing is the muscles in your vaginal canal. So we're gonna go through four simple, little easy exercises to get into, and we're only gonna do five reps. So how we're gonna start off, I want you to think about your hand. You're just gonna, you're gonna see my hand and it's gonna be what I'm doing with my pelvic floor. So as you inhale, you're just gonna squeeze and lift. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna release and let it all come back down. We're gonna do that a few more times before we actually start the exercise. So squeeze and lift. And I want you to think about this light, this white light coming in through the pelvic floor and then lifting itself up through the spine, inhale. And then as you exhale, gently release and all that energy comes back down towards the earth. And then just notice really quickly if the other muscles in your body are engaging, soften. Again, the only thing that we're strengthening is the muscles in the pelvic floor, the muscles in your vaginal canal. So we're gonna go for five. Inhale, we're gonna lift and squeeze. On the exhale, very gently with control, it's gonna come back down towards the earth. So as we inhale, and exhale slowly. Four more times, inhale. And exhale. Three more, inhale, squeeze and lift. And then on the exhale, very gently release and let it all come back down. We have two more, stay in contact with the breath. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Energy is rising up through the spine. Lift, 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 lift. And then as you exhale, you're gonna let it all come back down. We have one more. As you inhale, squeeze and lift. And then as you exhale, let it all come back down. So that's one of my favorite exercises and you can really do it whenever you can do it when you're driving, standing in, um, standing in line, driving your car. It's just a really good way for you to bring mind to muscle connection, mind to breath connection, mind to pussy connection. And it's really good just to help you get in touch with the body. The next exercise we're going to do, you're going to squeeze and lift and then we're going to hold it for a count of five. And then at the end of the five, we're going to release it back down. Again, we're going to do five counts, five reps. Ready? As you inhale, squeeze and lift. We're going to hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, and one. Very gently with control. Exhale and let it all come back down. Four more. As you inhale, squeeze and lift until you get to the top. Hold it here for five. Four, three, two, and one. As you exhale very gently, it comes back down. Make sure that you're giving yourself a full release at the bottom of that contraction. At the bottom of the release, you're letting everything go. We have three more. Inhale, lift and squeeze. And then once you get to the top, we're holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Very gently let it go. I believe we have two more. Once you fully release, give yourself a moment to relax. And then whenever you're ready on the inhale, lift and squeeze. We're holding for five, four, three, two, 
and one, very gently let it go, completely releasing the pelvic floor. We have one more little set just like this. As you inhale, lift and squeeze, really begin to visualize all that energy, all that light beginning to rise through the spine. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Very gently release the entire pelvic floor. So as of right now, you should have a little bit of heat, a little bit of activation, a little bit of, of awareness coming into the pelvic floor, which is all beautiful. So the next two exercises that we're gonna do, the first one that we did was just a very simple contract and release, contract and release, contract and release. The second one that we did was an inhaling squeeze, holding the squeeze for a count of five, and then very gently releasing. This next one, we're gonna pulse it out. So we're gonna do five different sets with five pulses each. So we're gonna go squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Cool? So whenever you're ready, you're gonna inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Cool? We're gonna go for our first set. We're gonna go squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Cool. Four more times, five pulses each. Let's go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Cool. Three more. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. I think that might have been six, but it's all good. So this is mimicking the same uh, contractions of having an orgasm. So the more you do these little pulses, the more activated your muscles are gonna be whenever you have an orgasm. I think we have two more sets, so let's go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Fully release, let everything go. So you're heating up that fire, you're just tending to that activation in the lower region of your body. We have one more, so here we go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. <sighs> Beautiful, shake it out. We have one more little exercise that I'm gonna show you guys. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. If you don't get it on the first or second try, it's all gravy. The more that you practice this mind to muscle awareness in your vaginal canal, the, the easier that little sense is gonna be. So we're gonna be mixing the last two exercises that I taught y'all. We're gonna be squeezing and holding at the top. And then once you hold it, you're gonna release it just a little and then tighten. Release a little and then tighten. So it's like you're lifting and squeezing and then it's a tiny pulse at the top. You're not going to fully release, but you're going to hold it and then just kind of activate it from that point. We're going to do five little pulses, five sets, five holds. I'll walk you guys through that. So as you inhale, squeeze and lift. Once you feel a nice solid lock, tiny little pulses for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Cool. We're going to do that four more times, just waking up the body, playing with different ways of activating the pelvic floor. As you inhale, squeeze, and then tiny pulses for five, four, three, two, one. That's one of my favorite exercises, I love it, it feels so good. We're gonna do three more, good shit. As you inhale, you're gonna squeeze and lift. Once you get that hold, we're gonna do tiny little pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. We have two more. Make sure that you really give yourself, so really relax. It's the same exact thing as if whenever you're doing a bicep curl or doing a deadlift, you want that complete release and expansion, and then you're gonna curl it back in. It's just like working out any other part of the body. Let's do our last two here. Inhale, squeeze, tiny pulses for five, four, three, two, one, release. We have one more. Whenever you're ready on the inhale, lift it up. And then we squeeze. And let's pulse it out for five, four, three, two, one. 
and let it all go very gently release wiggle out any energy in the shoulders and the hips and the feet and the jaw completely relaxing the pelvic floor you should be feeling a little bit of heat a little bit of activation a little bit of mind to muscle awareness into this region of the body and this is just going to really help you connect to yourself so some of the benefits of bringing that mind to muscle connection in your vaginal canal it's going to be strengthening your orgasms it's going to help you grip and milk your partner or anything that you're penetrating yourself with it's a a really beautiful way to just connect to this part of your body we oftentimes work on our triceps our biceps our glutes our abdomen well the the vagina is a muscle just like every other part of the body or every other muscle in the body so it's important to just work it out notice what the muscles can do what happens if I go really fast and pulse it out what happens if I take my time to lift and squeeze and hold later on I'll show you guys some different videos on um, how to uh, isolate certain muscles in your pelvic floor um, we'll get into that later on but I just wanted to show you guys just a super quick easy introduction to bringing that mind to muscle awareness in your yoni in your pelvic floor the more accustomed that you get to this particular practice that I showed you guys you can increase the rep so you can start working it up to seven pulses or seven reps 10 15 20 maybe you even add some certain sets into it so you do three sets of 15 the same way you would with um, a regular workout routine and my um, suggestion would be to do this two to three times a day uh, maybe one in the morning one in the night if you have a little extra bit of time maybe in the middle of the day it's also really important that you don't overuse your muscles that's going to create more exhaustion um, and you just want to create this as a really healthy routine to connect to yourself. I'm like squeezing and playing with my muscles at the same time. Um, but yeah, just be mindful that the rest of the body is relaxed and then just play out with the muscles in your yoni and figure out um, the cool, beautiful things that it can do when you connect to your breath, when you visualize energy coming up, energy sinking down. <sighs> and then just, um, yeah all about connecting, all my love and all my life.